Hey guys, um, I didn't do any prep work for this, I just felt like talking in front of a camera, I hope that's okay. Um, here's my shirt. <laughs> this is a complicated one, this one takes some like, it's gonna take a minute to sink in. Alright, let's see. Back to the Honey 3, I'm uh, pretty sure you the direction you would read this is, Degeneration or foolish evolution. Um, I bought this in Shimo Kitazawa in Tokyo, um, which reminds me I had Japanese class again today, and <laughs> so I've been at it for a really long time. I was at it in college. I was at it when I, you know, several times I was in Japan. I've been in class again for like two and a half years, and it's just so slow you know you know you know you know when you feel, you know when when you think you're on the right path and it's gratified by things happening really easily um, like transition for me right now um, that's not how Japanese is for me I really love it I just suck I don't suck I just it's really slow progress. I mean, it shouldn't take this many years to like be proficient in a language. And I just it doesn't it doesn't get in my brain. Really, for practical purposes, I really should give it up. I just don't want to. I really like it. Uh, um, I really like it. I like it a lot. Um, I'm thinking about my mom right now my mom uh, doesn't know I really want her to know and um, there just keeps being um, I would have told her already except my aunt um, wants it to be like the best circumstance for her to hear the news um, she uh, I think my mom is a really has a beautiful heart but she has difficult life circumstances you know and if she had money and a social circle and you know things to pad the blow I think she would take it really well but I don't think she's gonna take it really well um, she's just too stressed out and this is gonna just pile on in a in an inconceivable way for her um, but anyway that's not stopping me from telling her I really it's like you know way after I wanted to tell her my therapist said uh, don't expect anything out of your parents in the first year I mean, if you get anything, it, it's gravy. And, uh, and I want that year to start ASAP, you know what I'm saying? Um, my poor mom. At first, my aunt didn't want it to be around Mother's Day. And then she wanted, she, my other aunt is going to move in with them, my, my mom and my grandma. And, uh, she want the you know my one aunt wanted it to be then after that and then that keep getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and now my aunt I mean the mo the moving aunt and yet another aunt are gonna come to Texas where my mom is um, to help the one aunt move and so then they want to do it while they're all there but they don't want to do it during Fourth of July and then they don't want to do it uh, for another couple weeks because it's my grandmother's birthday and it's just like. I get it, but there's always an excuse, and like, you know, I don't accept that in my own life, like, excuses, I, you know, obviously, <laughs> I've, I've really sacrificed and pushed a lot, um, for, f to exist, and, um, I really want people to be on board, I'm so lucky and grateful that my friends, for the most part, are really welcoming and on board, and I want that experience with my family, and if it takes a year, it takes a year, but I want the year to start. Um, yeah, uh, my aunt, you know, said she didn't want me to get two or three or five years down the road and, um, you know, decide I've made the wrong decision, um, but I, it's an interesting s statement for me to, to see myself make, but I can't factor that in. Uh, I have to do this anyway. Um, you know, uh, uh, 
you know, if I'm if I'm making the wrong choice, so be it. Uh, you know, I, I have to try after so long of being upset and, and lonely and wondering and, you know, and after all the good things it's brought into my life, I, I just, I have to try. If I'm making the wrong decision, so be it. Because it's been long enough. I mean, all, trans people all have different situations, but my situation is I've lived long enough and, and, and had so much, you know, really systematic trouble over this issue that... I have to try whether it's right or wrong. I think it's right. I have all the evidence in the world to support what I'm doing, um, you know, and uh, and, I, and uh, I have all the evidence in the world to support that when one has this problem, this course of action generally makes them much happier throughout their lives. Like, I have all the reason in the world to do it. So I can't, I can't sweat it if it, if I figure out it's wrong later. I can't sweat it. I have to try this. I have to. I mean, I am. I'm not. You know, I'm doing it. <laughs> Speaking of, um, the immediate like uh, uh, sensitivity in the nipples has gone down a little bit, but it's definitely hurting, uh, and maybe even hurting more to bump into things unexpectedly. Um, I did laser. Check it out. Um, it doesn't look any different because the hairs are still there and they haven't fallen out yet. But people, it looks different to me, and people have noticed that it looks different. Yeah, it's just not supposed to look different. But um, I'm really happy. I'm really happy. The technician was great. It's in the Limelight building, which is an old, like, really debaucherous club in New York City that got turned into retail shops and, like, a spa. <laughs> and um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really positive. I, 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 you know, any big change for anybody, and especially for me in transition requires a little buffer for me to see how I feel about it. Or not see how I feel about it, but just settle in. Like, it's... Sometimes I gotta, like... I can't... I'm not gonna feel too gung-ho or positive um, for a little while after that, because it's just... Like I told my friends once, like, you know, moving a cat to a new apartment. Like, everything's okay, but you gotta just, like, relax a little bit, then it's okay. Um, so I gotta sit with decisions, and I think, I think that applies to, to, uh, this laser decision, which is great. It hurt like hell! Why haven't I, why am I not talking, why am I dodging the issue? It hurt. Everybody says that it's just like slapping a rubber band on your face, or on whatever. It hurt so bad. And I dealt with it, they were like, they were surprised, they were like, I'm surprised you're not swearing. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, because I guess... You know, I have a championship beard, or I did, and um, the hairs, um, the more hair and the denser and the thicker it is, the more it hurts. And so it hurt a lot. But I'm, it makes me feel positive about how I look. I, I, want, I want this, uh, this, I like this now more. Um... When I catch myself, like I was looking in the reflection in the in the glass in the subway while I was sitting, and I look more like I want to, and maybe that's psychological, or maybe that's a combination. Um, I I I feel like I look more feminine. I'm so self-conscious about my profile. I mean, I think I have to have cosmetic surgery. I mean, I just think it's unavoidable because I think like, I I think I'm getting to a place where I could almost pass head on or, or angled like this but the, the you know especially with my hair back and my profile it's just pretty gnarly which is sad but baby steps all we can do alright cool I think that's all I got to say any other changes nah we're good thanks